Hey guys, I'm out here today. I bought some uh, rifle plates online and I wanted to test them out. Uh, they're supposed to be level 3 plus, which is supposed to be standalone, which means you don't use them in conjunction with any soft armor. And also, they're supposed to be multi hit capable. They're level 3 plus means they're supposed to take a 762 by 54 uh, armor piercing, whatever, 556 five, obviously, and uh, 762 by 39 so we're out here today and we're going to test these um, we got a couple different rifles we're going to shoot the motion they got with the 54R we're going to shoot the AK-47 with the 762 by 39 we got a couple ARs we're going to shoot um, M855 uh, a penetrator round uh, we're going to and we might even try to shoot it with some uh, double lock buck and we're also going to hit it with 308 because along with uh, 762 by 54 it's supposed to be able to take 308 hits too. Um, today, right now, we got it set up out there at 25 yards. We're gonna hit that with the um, AK and the and the M16, and to see if uh, see if it stops them. Uh, probably take one shot, check it out, and uh, go from there and see what happens. Uh, hopefully, it stops. All right, we're gonna start our test with the uh, AK-47. I got a Saga 762 by 39. And the ammo that I'm going to be shooting is brown bear. I think it's 124 grain and it's a hollow point. Alright, so we just shot it with one round from the, from the 762 by 39 And uh, unfortunately, you can see, if you can see, I'll zoom in or whatever, you can see it's cracked right here. It did, however stop the round um, you can see the entrance room right there and then it went through cracked this whole side and uh, it didn't go through but there's a pretty significant bulge right here probably I would say a quarter of an inch off the back of the plate which is kind of which is kind of sad uh, I, would, I would have hoped that uh, we wouldn't see a bulge after the first round. This is from 25 yards. Uh, so that's kind of disappointing. We're going to shoot uh, the 5.56 out of a uh, Bushmaster upper stag arm lower for people that care. Uh, AR 20 inch barrel. Uh, I'm going to shoot M855 SS109 which is the penetrator. 62 grain. Here we go. Alright, we just took our second shot with a uh, AR, uh, with the 5.56, the, the M855 penetrator ammo, and uh, as before, we shot with the 7.62 by 39 it had pretty significant damage, I was pretty leery if it would even stop this one, but it did stop it, um, has a pretty good bulge once again, probably less than a quarter of an inch in depth, um, you can see right there is the hit, um, but I'm surprised that it did stop it. I mean, there's a, if you want to zoom in on this bulge, it's pretty significant. I mean, you would have a couple broken ribs and stuff, but at least you'd be still alive. Uh, I'm, I'm very surprised. It did crack the other end of the plate where it hit, so, you know, the plate's deteriorating pretty fast. But, yep. All right, this is uh, gonna be the third hit of 5.56. I'm gonna hit it twice. Same ammo, M855. That didn't look good. Alright, so we just shot two more rounds out of, uh, out of the uh, AR. Uh, the same 855. And, uh, We've successfully hit it about three times in the same spot. You can see right here, we got about three rounds right there, one round. That's the 7.62. These are all the 5.56. The five, five, and uh, from 25 yards, I think probably the second hit right around the same spot has broken through after about four hits. So while they are multi-hit, I would probably they say that they're standalone, that you don't need soft armor and a trauma plate. 
I would probably strongly advise wearing the uh, the soft armor insert and a trauma plate because these are these dents uh, would definitely break a couple ribs. And if something like that happened where it broke through, that so, that uh, soft armor would save you. All right, so we shot it with about uh, four four five five six, and uh, we did have a penetration on one that was. Uh, one on top of the other, two rounds on top of each other, did have penetration there. Um, and the first 7.62 hit was pretty significant. But uh, So I'm just going to shoot it. Uh, I'm going to try and hit other areas on the plate, see if it still stops it. And uh, just to give you guys some more. Oh, wow. So we hit it uh, with another round right on the edge of the plate. It stopped it. It did stop it. So... That was with the 762 by 39 so I'm going to hit it again. Alright, we've been shooting it a couple times now with the 556. We shot it a couple more times with the 762 by 39 And uh, it's actually holding up. I think with the initial shot, since I've never actually tested plates before, I didn't really know what to expect. And so I guess that's why I said I was disappointed. But now we've put, we just put five rounds from a, uh, a 10 inch barrel AR in it, 55 grain FMJs, uh, consecutively one right after the other. And it's stopped them all. Um, with the exception of that one that was right on top of them, all, all the, the uh, rest of the stuff we shot at it has, has been stopped. So, um, as we progress in this test, I'm actually pretty impressed at what we're getting. Um, you can see the plates really, really tore up. Um, and I don't know, you know, wh wh when it's in the plate carrier, it's going to be held together a lot. Wow. All right, so we uh, stopped shooting it with the small calibers. We went to the big bore. We shot it with a Remington 700 308 with 168 grain ammo at 25 yards. Uh, as you saw on the previous footage, the plate pretty much flew apart. Um, we put it back together as best we could. You can see all the ceramic pieces falling out of it. Um, but it did, however, stop the 308 round. And that was already, and it actually was hit in the same place as the 762 right here. I mean, there's a huge. We're gonna test another plate at 50, just to see uh, what kind of what kind of results we get, and that's probably close to for that caliber. But we'll just see what happens. Uh, but it's pretty much destroyed at this point. Uh, we might break that other plate out and see what happens. But there's been no, with the exception of this one spot, there's been no penetration. So I'm gonna mention that these are also only about five or six pounds per plate. So to back it up with some soft armor really wouldn't affect your overall, your overall um, setup. It wouldn't add that much weight. So for the extra, for the added protection, I would definitely uh, sub in some uh, soft armor inserts and, and some trauma plate just for a little bit more protection. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set up another plate we have, and we're suited out at 50 yards with uh, the most in the got 762 by 54 and uh, the 308 again. All right. Now that we did the, uh, the short range test, I'll, I'll call it the short range test at 25 yards with the uh, small bore and the 762 by 39, the 556. It was a pretty good test. Uh, we're going to move up to the big bore and we're going to move back to 50 yards with the uh, most in the got 762 by 54 and the 308. We're going to hit it a couple times, see what happens. Got it. All right, so we just shot it from 50 yards with the uh, Mosin Nagant 762 by 54. For this test, I was able to set up against this hill and have a nice little backing to kind of simulate, you know, what it would be like on the body, I guess. I'm not really for sure if that's correct or not, but that's what I assume. Uh, I hit it with the 762 by 54. I tried to get a center hit. I pulled it to the right, as you can see. Uh, and you can see it, it opened the cover up. But what I really want to show is the back. You can see where it punched through the, the cardboard that I had it set against. And that's kind of a, I mean this is 50 yards, I don't know, but that's kind of disturbing a little bit. On the back, it did not penetrate. 
it did how it did just this bulge broke that cardboard like that and that's you know it's wet cardboard so maybe I don't know if that's a good indicator or not but it did stop it there's a good half inch to three quarter inch bulge on the back side of this plate if you can see that and it's pretty substantial but it didn't go through it did stop it uh, we're gonna hit it a couple times more with uh, maybe another 762 by 54 and a 308 see what happens I got 762 by 54 Alright, this is the second hit with the 762 by 54 most in the got from 50 yards. I got a good center hit that time. Uh, the, as you can see, the plate got knocked off. Uh, but maybe I'll move this out of the way so you can kind of see what it looks like underneath. You see the ceramic right here. And then this is some Kevlar material right there. Um, but uh, on the back, it didn't go through. Another huge, another huge uh, dent in the back. As you can see right here, probably the same size as this one, but it did not penetrate. Um, if you want to move this, we kind of packed some mud back here to kind of simulate um, the, the human body a little bit. I don't know how scientific that is, but um, we're working with what we got. But if I move this cardboard, you can see the mat, you know, the, the massive trauma that this wet cardboard took, and on the mud. I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good, like a fist type. Uh, it, you know area that got dented in but it didn't go through second hit on the most in the gut from 50 yards all right we just shot the uh, plate again at 50 yards with the 308 from the Remington 700 we had two shots it fell over on its face um, but you can see well, you can see one shot right there. I don't know, we got one round for sure. I thought we hit it twice. But uh, still no penetration. Um, I think one went in here and maybe bounced around or something. You can see a huge, there's a massive bulge right here. Um, but it still stopped it. Alright, uh, I'm just going to say in closing, I mean, we shot a couple times when our cameras are dying and now, you know, we don't have that much time. But, um, you know, we shot it. We shot the other one up with about, I want to say, maybe 10 rounds of between the 7.62 by 39 and 5.56. Held up, no penetration. Um, and this one as well with about four rounds of 308, two, or two rounds of 308 and two rounds of most in the gaunt. It held up, no penetration. Um, but I, like I said many a times before, I would definitely recommend a, a soft insert soft armor insert to back it up and a trauma plate on top of that because even though it's stopping these rounds your if you if your body takes internal trauma you're going to be you, you know you're defeating the purpose anyway so uh and like i said these don't weigh that much five six pounds maybe so adding the soft armor insert and a trauma plate to your set to your overall setup isn't going to be that detrimental especially when it's going to keep you alive um so for the price point and you know maybe some civilian sheepdogs that are interested in getting some some body armor uh, as, prote as adi additional protection I would definitely suggest it as far as law enforcement or military um, I would probably spend some more money on uh, on your plates in your, in your system just so that you definitely come home um, but for like I said around 200 bucks for a pair you can't really beat that and it's it up to the multi-hit capability. As far as the standalone, though, I would definitely not. I would say it's a thumbs down on the standalone for sure, um, just because of the, the the bulges we see on the back side. Uh, but yeah, I'd give them a thumbs up and definitely recommend them. Thank you for watching.